Well, after news of Chris Collins' arrest on insider trading charges Wednesday, the Republican congressman says he has no intentions of stepping down. Good evening, everyone. I'm Adam Bedini. Scott and, is off tonight. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. Members of Collins' own party appear to be looking at other plans now for the 27th District. And we have team coverage tonight with two on your sides, Claudine Yu and Dave McKinley on what's next. Claudine, Dave. Well, Mary Ellis, so far, Congressman Collins is still in the race in November, but with political surveys floating, new GOP names and a Republican calling for his resignation, things may or may not change. Just the visual of Chris Collins rushing out of a federal courthouse is daunting. And now Aurora Highway Superintendent Dave Gunner, once a strong supporter of the congressman, is the first elected Republican in Erie County calling for his resignation. In a letter to his colleague, he says, I call upon Chris Collins to do whatever it takes to clear the way for another Republican candidate for Congress. I'm actually kind of surprised more elected people haven't come out and said this. It, you know, I got to think, a lot of people are thinking this way. I mean, but here I obviously say what I think. He also wrote this insider trading scandal has put our district in real peril. If he runs, I don't think he can win. I don't care how much money he has. He can't buy this seat. Gunner is an outspoken Republican committeeman. You mentioned in your letter innocent until proven guilty, but yet you want him to resign. Well, because I don't know how you can do your job with what is going to be happening over the next few months. I, you know, it's going to be quite a distraction. How are you going to even be able to campaign, number one? How are you going to do the job? Uh, how are you going to represent the people if you're busy trying to defend, uh, you know, these allegations? On the other end of the political spectrum, Alan Badenko, a staunch critic of Collins and a Democrat, received a political survey robocall. Somebody is polling to see if Collins were to get out of the race, how would a Stefan Mihailu candidacy fare against Nate McMurray? McMurray is the Democrat, Mihailu the Republican being talked about as a possible replacement. Do you think they're doing this robocall to try and test the waters between a McMurray and a Mihailu, thinking that Collins is gonna get out of the race? They're gonna have some, some guidance as to how badly Chris Collins has been hurt by this news. If a Democrat was able to take the seat that had most recently been held by Donald Trump's biggest defender and first supporter in Congress, that's the icing on the cake. And so far, Collins is still in this race. Now, we should also mention that Niagara County makes up a big chunk of Collins' congressional district. And for the first time, we are hearing from the Republican Party chairman from Niagara County. Dave McKinley has more on that part of the story. Dave? Claudine, Niagara County's GOP party chair will probably tell you much the same thing as you'd hear from any of the other county party chairmen in that district, that because of election law, for now, they're pretty much stuck with Chris Collins as the candidate and that only Collins may have the power to change that. But Richard Andres has some real concerns about Collins as a candidate right now, and they're not so much about Chris Collins himself, whom he believes could actually still win if he runs on his record and can convince voters that he deserves another chance and is innocent in this heavily Republican district. No, it's all about the other Republican office seekers down the line. What are they going to do? What are, you know, what is their, uh, what is the down ticket effect of something like this? I've got a lot of calls from down ticket people that are concerned that this distraction could affect them. Is he enough of a distraction that you, Rich, would like to see him bow out? If every day was like today, I'd say it's getting to that point. If every day was like today, but we'll see as the, as the legal process shakes out. And until it does, Andres won't say that Collins should bow out. According to Andrus, though, the various county chairs from across the 27th district, which, by the way, includes parts of eight counties, have discussed getting together to map strategy, although no meeting is set. At no time, he says, have the eight of them ever talked about getting Collins in a room with them to discuss all of this, at least not yet. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.